Time and temperature is brought to you by Headquarter Toyota. New Act 10, Broward's public defender is blasting what he calls retaliation by a deputy against a county inmate. Well, he says bleach or some sort of chemical was intentionally put in that inmate's cell and tonight the Broward Sheriff's Office is firing back. My team's Karen Hensel has tonight's Seven Investigates. The North Broward Bureau in Pompano Beach primarily houses inmates with special needs and mental illness. 33-year-old Nathaniel Calhoun is one of them. Uh, I, I just don't want to see another person treated like my stuff was. It was July 24th when, according to this letter sent to Sheriff Gregory Tony by public defender Gordon Weeks, Calhoun was accused of spitting in a deputy's face. Weeks says the deputy then retaliated by intentionally pouring bleach and some other chemical substance in Calhoun's cell with clear intent to do him harm and as punishment. The individual that was in the cell took off all of his clothes. Um, and what we believe to be an act of using the clothes to cover his face and try to breathe. Week's letter says Calhoun was taken to the hospital in grave condition. You do not respond to someone's mental illness with abuse or torture or trying to chemically uh, subdue them with fumes from, from bleach. That is inappropriate and is borderline criminal. I was angry. My wife, she exploded. She just ripped to pieces. Gordon Calhoun is Nathaniel's father and says his son was diagnosed with bipolar disorder as a teen and his condition later got worse. I urged him to take his medication when he wouldn't listen and he kept getting very violent at times. Nathaniel has pending criminal charges for trespassing at a store, resisting an officer, and battery. Court records show a judge ordered a mental health evaluation, and his father says he needs help. What would you say to Sheriff Tony? I, you know, I, I would like to talk to him, and I would explain to him why, how could this happen? Something like this. I mean, you don't treat a dog like this. The public defender says Nathaniel Calhoun lost consciousness when he was overcome by the fumes in his cell. But Broward's top cop says that's simply not true. And that's not all. The inmate was exhibiting signs uh, where he was throwing feces and urine and, you know, common areas as well in his cell. Uh, acting very erratic. Sheriff Tony says he has personally viewed surveillance video from the incident. What we were able to assess clearly, no one sprayed the inmate with bleach. They cleaned this out at some point, but he was never sprayed or saturated with any form of chemicals by any of my staff. Tony says the inmate was moved to another cell, was conscious, and it was hours later when medical staff determined he needed to go to the hospital. You don't know what made him sick? No. You understand my disconnect no, here? A week and a so, half in the hospital is not... Something wrong happened. Most certainly he was ill. Uh, he was sick. Despite calls by Weeks to release the video publicly, Tony says he will not, citing an exemption in the state's public records law and concerns over jail security. These are issues of misinformation that we've repeatedly seen come out of our public defender's office from our public defender. The deputy involved has been suspended with pay during an internal affairs investigation. And the Broward State Attorney's Office tells 7 News they immediately opened an investigation after being notified of the allegations. Karen Hensel, 7 News. Well, coming up tonight, all eyes on the traffic. Well, there's the